strong. Hello everyone, welcome to Latte How to Sessions. This is the first session, in which we talk about launches and basic settings. For all sessions, we will use Latte Git version, that will be next stable version 0.10. Let's begin. Latte is an application. Latte needs to be started like you do with all the rest applications. After we install it, next thing to do is execute command latte doc. On first start, latte slides in, and default layout is appearing. In default layout, there are two launches, Firefox and Dolphin. On the right side, we can also notice an analog clock. First thing we will do, is to work with launches, and learn how we can add them, in the task manager. We can use them afterwards, to launch our favorite applications, in our Plasma environment. One way to add launches, is by using drag and drop method. For example, we can search for k-write application, and try to drag it afterwards, on top of our dock. Please be aware, when using k-runner, to choose items, only from applications option. So now we can drag and drop. This is actually enough, to add it as launcher. We can also search for k-calculator, and from applications, we drag and drop again. This way k-calculator launcher, is added in our dock. There is also an alternative, and easier way to add launches. At first we open the application we're interested in, and wait for it to show in the task manager. After it has appeared, we right-click it, and choose Pin Launcher to all activities. If we do not use Plasma activities, we simply choose Pin Launcher. This way we can have multiple launchers, that will be always accessible in the task manager, waiting for our action, even when the application is not running. Next thing we will learn, is about basic settings. We right-click our doc, and choose Edit Doc. This is our basic settings window. Through these settings, we can change the screen edge that our dock will be anchored. Let's go, on the left edge. Top. Right. And bottom. Another thing we can do, is to change alignment, for our items. So we can send them on the left, center, or right side. We can also use justify alignment, that uses all three alignments in one. We will explain and use justify alignment thoroughly, in the end of the session. In basic settings, we can also change visibility mode that defines, when our dock will hide or show. Latte provides 10 different modes, some of them are, always visible, auto hide and dodge active. Let's discuss, dodge active, that is the current default. In dodge active mode, our dock becomes hidden, if active window is touching it. For example, when moving K right window on top of our dock, our dock will hide itself. However, when K right is moved away, our dock will show again. To change the delay for showing and hiding, we can use these timers. First one is for showing, and second one for hiding. For example, if we give a big value in hide timer, then our dock, will delay its hiding a lot. Let's restore hide timer for now, in its previous value. In appearance tab, inside basic settings, we can change item size. Their value is in pixels. We can make them bigger. Or smaller. This option influences all items, in the same way. This is also where we can change, the parabolic effect value. 
or even disable it totally. We can also change our dock maximum length. We can use it, in order to limit our items, inside a specific area. When our items exceed this area, they will start shrinking. Maximum length value is always respected. We will demonstrate, an extreme example. Let's try different item size values, in order to trigger the shrinking behavior. Maybe a little more. Here it is. Our items shrunk, because they exceeded maximum length. So now you know, if your items start shrinking on their own, it means that they have exceeded maximum length of the dock. We can always set it of course, to our preference. Next section is focusing, on background settings. We can disable it, in order to not show at all, or just change its size. We can even alter its opacity level, to produce aesthetic results. The third tab, in settings window, is focusing on our tasks and windows. First option, is forcing dropped launches, to be added only in the task manager. If we disable it, then our launches, can be added as plasma applets, around our task manager. Below that option, we can see different filters, for our windows. We can choose to filter windows, based on their screen, desktop, or plasma activity. Launches are separated in two, major groups. Unique launches, that belong only to that specific dock, and are not shared. And global launches, that are shared, and synced, between all docks and panels, automatically. Accept tasks and launches, in our dock, we can also use plasma widgets, that are found in our system, or download them, from plasma KDE store. Let's see, how we can add plasma widgets, for example, an application launcher, or sys tray. We right click the dock, and choose, add widgets. Widgets explorer is appearing, and lists all widgets discovered, in our system. We search for application launches, and after we have spotted, the one, we are interested in, we drag and drop it, at the desired position, of our dock. Our application launcher, is now on the left, of our task manager, and we can use it. Of course, we can also remove widgets. Let's remove, our analog clock. We right click the dock, and choose, edit dock. We right click again, on the analog clock, and we choose, remove analog clock. That was all. Analog clock, is now removed. In the past, many users complained, that even though basic settings are shown, a little later they disappear, because they lose focus. If we want, we can easily disable that. Once again we choose edit dock, and at the top right corner, we notice a pin. We can activate that pin button, and in such case, the settings window will not close if it loses focus. The settings window can now become hidden, only if we click, the close button. We already demonstrated, how to add plasma widgets, and how they can be removed. Now it's time to learn, how to move widgets, and change the place. We activate Widgets Explorer, and use it to re-add the analog clock. Next to our clock, we will add a plasma sys tray. Now we have enough items, in order to start. We activate, Edit Dock option. Basis settings are appearing, and the next thing to do, is to activate button, rearrange and configure, your widgets. After we enable rearrange and configure, we can easily use drag and drop, to move our widgets. In that state, a tooltip is appearing, above our widgets. In that tooltip, there are per applet options, that we can change. We can use the gear icon, to show applet settings, in a window. 
Next to applet name, the lock icon is used to disable parabolic effect only for this item. The trash icon, of course, is used as an alternative way to remove this applet. Explaining a bit more, each dock in Latte can use three different states. Let's use our notes. The first state is called normal mode, and we can use it only to add widgets. The second state is live editing mode, in which we can add and remove widgets. The last state is rearrange and configure, in which we can do all previous actions, but also move widgets and use per applet options. We have already used these states during our session. Our dock is currently in normal mode, which is also its first mode on startup. When we right-click the dock and choose Edit Dock, we use Live Editing Mode. While enabling button, rearrange and configure your widgets, we change to the third mode. Latte is smart enough to remember the last editing mode we used. For example, if we use rearrange and configure mode, the next time we will trigger Edit Dock, Latte will enable that specific mode. For current example, that is of course, rearrange and configure your widgets mode. Before ending our session, we will try to use, justify alignment, and create a panel, that contains applets, in all three different places, of our dock. In justify alignment, things are a little different, compared to other three types of alignment. The first we activated, two justify splitters, are automatically added, and placed, inside our dock. We do not need to add any extra spaces, in order to center our applets, as is the case with plasma panels. Any applet outside the justify splitters, will be pushed, at the boundaries of our maximum length. While any applet between the justify splitters, will become centered. Our dock contains now, an application launcher, on the left, a task manager, in the center, and a sys tray, on the right. In justify alignment, maximum length, is always respected, so we can increase it, or decrease it, to push applets further, or nearer to the boundaries. We can now increase the background size and opacity, in order to make our dock, to look, more like a panel. We can switch to live editing mode, in order to improve visual feedback, of our changes. That is the best mode to use, when we want to see, how a dock changes, compared to our desktop. You may have noticed, the canvas, behind our dock, when we use edit dock. In live editing mode, you can alter the canvas transparency, by using the mouse wheel to scroll, up, and down, on top of it. On the contrary, in rearrange and configure mode, the canvas is always solid, and we cannot change it. Most panels, do not use any parabolic effect. Let's disable it, from appearance tab. This is it. We managed to create, a latte panel, in justify alignment, that contains widgets, to all three places. I hope you liked it. Thank you all for watching, see you next time.